Good morning, Sunday morning. It's actually a Saturday morning right now, but it'll be Sunday when I upload this. Also, I get so scared every time I like have these hats visible because this red one is not a MAGA hat. Yesterday was the point where it's like, if I don't wash my hair today, it's gonna be bad news. And I didn't. This is probably gonna be the video where I look the worst that you'll ever see me. Due to reasons of have not washed my hair and will have stuff in it for the majority of this video. While we remove the hair color, we are also going to react to my old hair look. So what you're gonna need for this is some powdered vitamin C. You can get vitamin C tablets and crush them up yourself, or you can just get it powdered. Um, and also shampoo. So you guys get your materials ready and I'll get my stuff ready. Hey, oh God. Okay, second voiceover. This is my vitamin C powder. Ooh, then we're also gonna use some shampoo. Look at my nasty little nails. Um, okay, so then you're gonna mix both of those things, okay, in a bowl. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, and this was right after my workout. This is my before. My hair is greasy. Get over it, elephant in the room. Okay, I took a shower. And you're not gonna shampoo, you're just gonna get it wet, peace. Okay, so then you're gonna put it in your hair and I'm dividing it into two sections um, and Jesus Christ. Okay, then you're just gonna put it in there and really try to massage it in there. Give it, give it a good soak and lather. Oh, okay, God. it's all in. This is a test run of how it would look if I had short hair. What do you guys think? Anyway, um, I don't have a shower cap because I'm not the fucking queen of England. So because I don't have a shower cap, I was, I was saying we are going to use dog bags. <laughs> so I'm just opening it all the way up. And we're going to, you want it to have a pretty <laughs> Just going to try. <laughs> don't do this. Don't follow literally any of this at home. I have a second one so I can do the other, like the bottom um, from the other side. <laughs> Okay, is there anything I get? Hey, 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 we're filming. Okay, so this is not gonna um, work. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it with the one. You know, we're not about perfection here. Um, and then I'm gonna set a timer for an hour and a half. I usually leave these on for two. Very damaging, very drying. But it's what I do. So I will set a timer for an hour and a half and then check on it. And then depending on where we are, I'll either leave it on for another 30 minutes or take it off. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, when I was like, this is probably the video where I'm gonna look the worst, you guys are probably like, hey, shut up, princess. We think you look fine. Well, okay, but well, this is, well. Anyway, you guys have created a space for me where I feel valued more for what I say than what I look like. So, um, hey, don't give me any reason to doubt. Jesus Christ. Don't give me any reason to doubt that. Don't. Do I look like the girl with the pearl earring? Okay, so let's look at my hair through the ages and talk about what went wrong, what went right. You know, okay, so starting with babyhood, I had the blondest little hair. Um, I was blonde. You know, it lasted for, I don't know, maybe till I was like, went, started going through puberty. Um, but yeah, so now we'll get into like my now natural hair color, which is, it's what you would call like dirty brown or, or, <laughs> like dirty blonde or like light brown. And I know it's always like a thing that you go through us former blondies where you're like, hey, I'm not, that's not who I am anymore. I'm 14 in most of these pictures, 13 in some. Um, and I kept my hair that color until I was like 16, 16, I think. I think I was 16 after my sophomore year of high school, I, that summer got some pink in my hair. I got a little dip dye, a little pink. Um, that was exciting for me. And then this is me in junior year. And I don't think there's anything done to my hair here, except like where the pink had been. It kind of washed out and like faded into a like orangey, maybe kind of lighter blonde. So it might be a dark or I mean, lighter at the tip. And then later junior year, I got blonde highlights for the first time. And so this is me then. So you can see we're, we're dredging into blonde territory a little bit more. And then later that spring, I fully bleached it like platinum. Um, people were really nice about that. People, people still are like, platinum is your color. Um, I, I'm not so sure because if we look at some of my graduation photos, 
like right after they bleach it, it looks fucking ugly. And now those pictures are always gonna look like that, but it's, you know, whatever. And then senior year, I did a little Kool-Aid dip dye action again, except it wasn't. It was that L'Oreal Colorista, like temporary one that's supposed to last only a few washes. If you get that, do not use it on bleached hair, especially the blue, because blue takes freaking forever to come out. And you will be stuck with it for a very long time. And if you like it, great. If you don't, well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so I was kind of, it kind of just like faded out for a long time. And then by the summertime, I was mostly just a little blondie again. So then I go off to college and then in January of my freshman year, I'm like, I'm gonna dye my hair pink. So this is me there. I used to do my makeup like this every single day, everywhere I went. Look at my eyebrows, like who, who let me? <laughs> Who let me do them like that and it faded a good amount um oh at like the start of quarantine um, anyway so it's kind of like a faded pink at this point I'm like should I dye my hair blue and everyone's like yeah except that's not true some people were like no girl it's gonna take forever to come out and I was like okay and so then I did it big fucking mistake so I looked into like how do we get rid of this and I started doing these vitamin C treatments which is what I'm doing now and what I've continued to do when I'm removing a hair color I freaking loved this like teal phase this light like greenish blue I love it so much blue getting rid of it is such a beast I just only wish that I had done the vitamin C, C vitamin C treatments sooner anyway so I continued doing the treatments and then it was faded, faded, faded. And towards the end of the summer, I dyed it purple and I thought this color was so fun. I regret fading it so fast. So then my hair got light again and I kept it some like white, platinum, um, whatever for a little bit and I love that. So then I did it, like I just mixed a bunch of dyes that I had and I got this like pink magenta color. And again, I let it fade. That's the color that it was when I started my YouTube channel in the fall-ish, in the winter fall. So that faded a little bit. And then I did the purple, which is the most recent one that I've had. And that was the most recent one that I had. And it was definitely a different purple than the first one I did. The shade was quite different. Um, so... I, you know, I've never been in love with like any of the hairs that I've done while I had them. Like I think, I don't know, there's a little metaphor for life. And like while I had purple, I was like, okay, next incoming is my brunette era. But then I'm also like, wait, I want to go like platinum again. I'm very all over the place. Hair is just a very fun thing for me, like do whatever, whatever. So and that's kind of where I'm trying to go now is just like a lighter, like maybe sort of lavender um, and then eventually getting to like white maybe so yeah that is what i've done with my hair um those are the looks that i've had and yeah i hope you enjoyed going through the ages with me okay so it's the next day um <laughs> don't do this the way that i did okay because i have oh my god ugh, i'm such an idiot i left it on for too long um and I have this spot on my head where I got a chemical burn from bleach like months and months and months ago, like probably like six months at this point. And just like every time I do my hair, it's just repeat injury to the area. So it's like, it's a mess back there. Um, <laughs> so don't do this. But on the bright side, it also didn't work very well. And this is what I got for you this week. My deepest apologies to everyone who came here looking for um, a great way to remove hair dye because it didn't work so well, but I'm going to put a link to videos and articles about how to use this method because it can work wonders. And it did work a little, a tiny wonder, but not a big wonder um, today. So with that, I let you go um, and I'll see you next week and I love you so much.